Welcome to Games Arenas and we back to the Kento walkthrough. We back in the Cinnabar Island and now I'm just want to show you how to get into the gym in Cinnabar Island. As you just saw, the gym is locked. You probably already know this, uh, but what you gotta do is basically is go into the uh, Pokemon Mansion that is next to it. Go in there and you need to find a scientist Chase in order to fight him to get the secret key. That will unlock the gym so uh, the actual scientist chase is in floor zero as they calling it in the game but it's basically a basement and you have to find the basement and here are the Pokemon that are available it's eradicates and Ratata and you got Grimmer and coughing as rare and very regular Vulpix Growlite and finally as an extremely rare Pokemon Drapion so just follow this way, go up to the uh, right top corner first and go all the way down. I've already fought all these NPCs before this video. Now you can see here on the left you got a bit of a stair. You need to get it from that side of the stair to get down. You can't really do it from the other way. And now we're in the floor zero of Pokemon Mansion. Just go up north a little bit and turn left. You have yet another scientist Ivan you have to face. And there it is. This is the scientist Chase, he's only got one Pokemon, uh, Electrode that is level 35 and once you defeat him you're going to receive a secret key and there he is, you can see it just popping out in the chat tab underneath it in the green writing and now we're ready to go into the gym, unlock the gym and defeat yet another uh, gym leader Blaine this time the gym leader is Blaine and the gym uh, trainers and the Pokemon are all fire. So now you can see what I did there. I literally just went up and right. And this is a, a second uh, way out from the mansion. You cannot go in through that way. But it's like a shortcut to get out. Just so you know. You don't have to walk all the way back uh, to the front of the mansion. You can just literally pop around the corner and you're out of it. So now I'm just going to quickly heal my Pokemon. And go back into the gym to go and face off Blaine uh, for the Volcano Badge. There's a few NPCs here. We've got the uh, Burger Queen. That's going to be the first one. It should be fairly easy for my Pokemon. I mean, Psychic um, ability of the Gardevoir. It's, um, it should do pretty well here. And obviously later on, uh, I'm just going to be keep using that. Uh, but I do recommend if you want to make this much easier for yourselves and you don't really have very good uh, Pokemon leveled up yet, just get yourselves a water Pokemon. Any sort of good water Pokemon. I still insist uh, that anybody should have in their uh, Pokedex and in their uh, P uh, PC storage, you need to have a Jolly Moxie Gallardo, Gallardos and in order to get Jolly Moxie Gallardos you don't actually have to find it all you gotta do is find a Jolly Nature a Magikarp with rattled ability and when it evolves it will evolve in Jolly Moxie Gallardos and that will help you immensely in this game one of the most common used Pokemon for anything, fighting, doing battle towers, um, fighting uh, elite fours, helping with the gyms, even in the Sinok Elite Four, you can still use it and it's still viable to fight him on that sort of level. So just that, just alone tells you how um, how important this Pokemon is in the game. But what is also very important is to spend time on it and actually catch the right one. So it has to be really a Jolly Moxie one that is a really good one because the Moxie ability uh, every time you kill a Pokemon will give you plus one attack and it keeps growing and keeps growing and you can sweep the whole teams uh, with one Pokemon with ease sometimes. But also make sure that it has a really good IVs, it has to have really good speed and attack. That's the two major things that you need to look for. Preferably 31 speed and 31 attack. If you can find one like that then uh, then that's brilliant. If not, just try to at least focus on speed mainly so it's fast enough. But here we are. We nearly had um, we nearly had the Blaine. Um, we nearly had the Pokemon Gym leader Blaine. 
uh, one more um, one more NPC a nerd Derek and once we defeat him all it is is the volcano badge awaiting even though I don't have any uh, water Pokemon I'm still gonna defeat uh, Blaine fairly easy I might lose a Pokemon or two but it doesn't really matter because I can just go into the Poké Center afterwards and heal him but there is no chance that he will ever defeat my team uh, as it happens so let's just have a look he's got six Pokemon starting with the Growlite uh, now we got the Ponyata uh, we have uh, well it's gonna be sort of repetitive a little bit now we have a Magma then we're gonna have at some point nine tails and back again to grow light at the end so it's not a crazy good team and like I mentioned if you have any sort of water Pokemon and uh, we already learned Surf, uh, Surf, HM Surf uh, in one of the previous episodes if you haven't know where the HM Surf is then you wouldn't even be in Silver Island right now so any water Pokemon that you will have you can teach him Surf and it's quite a powerful move it will be fairly easy but of course you have to make sure it's a certain level Pokemon and I do suggest to train their effort value points as um, there's videos on my website and links that you can go and do that if you don't know exactly how to do it and how to train them there's videos on my website just have a look in info and guide for Pokemon Planet so there's two Pokemon left I sort of chose Charizard uh, because I have other moves rather than just fire moves and at the same time Charizard will be sort of uh, well maybe not immune to fire but it will be not as effective on him uh, so Ninetales just died and we only have one more Pokemon and this is Arcanine which is the evolved version of the Growlite uh, Arcanine can be very powerful Pokemon to be honest and that's why my uh, Charizard's gonna struggle against him a little bit, especially that he has um, the electric moves, which are very this is very effective against Charizard. But like I mentioned, I don't really um, it doesn't really make me any difference if I lose one or two Pokemon. I've got yet another four, and there is my Venomoth that will finish Arcanine off for me. There it is with Side Beam. And now I can receive my volcano badge and it's time to get out of that gym and the next gym that you're gonna have to get into is sort of back to where we came from sort of back to the beginning that's where the last a gym is and that's what I'm gonna take you in my next episode but for now I'm gonna end this episode right here and in the next one I'm gonna show you where the last eight badge is and how to get it and there's gonna be a few more videos about Kento region because there's lots of places I haven't discussed it yet and a lot of them is accessible from this town Cinnabar Island but there it is this is the uh, end of the episode so thank you very much for watching uh, I do appreciate all your subscriptions that means a lot to me uh, so please just subscribe if you like the content and you want to be notified about any new videos coming out so, so you don't miss anything out and I wish you all good luck and I see you in the next episode so take care for now